Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share the normal distribution in SPS. Consider the random variable x follows normal distribution with mean 160 and variance 6.17 square. First, let's generate the x values. We can make use of Excel. Pick a suitable starting point, for example, 130. Press Enter. Select the value that we enter. Go to Fill, look for Series, and we should generate the series by columns. Put 0 0.1 under the step value, which means that we have each increment of 0 0.1. Pick a suitable stop value, for example 190, press OK, and we should obtain a series of numbers. Press Shift Ctrl down to select, Ctrl C to copy. Back to SPS, paste the value. Since we have only one decimal point, go to variable view, decrease decimal to 1, and put x under name. And now we can generate the probability. Go to transform, compute variable. Under the target value, we put probability. So we're looking for the probability. And for the numeric expression, under the function group, look for probability density function. Look for normal distribution. Up. First question mark is the x value. Press x. Right to insert. Second question mark is the mean, which is 160. Third question mark is the standard deviation, 6.17. Press OK and we should obtain the probability distribution. Go to variable view and increase the decimals accordingly. Back to data view, as we can see, the number already increases. Go to transform, and now we can compute for the cumulative distribution. Change P to C, and press on OK, and we should obtain the cumulative distribution function. Go to variable view, again, we can increase the decimal point. Instead of generating the probability and the cumulative distributions for a series of numbers, we could also obtain the probability for a given range. For example, the probability of x less than 164.12. We can make use of a new data book. Go to File, New, Data. We have to first enter any number in the first column so that we can make use of the transform command. Compute variable until the target name is a simple P. For the type and labor, we can labor the complete expression probability of x less than 164.12. Click on continue and we can now obtain the cumulative distribution function. Normal distribution, we have to bear in mind that the CDF in SPS stands for less than cumulative. Since we want less than 164.12 with mean 160 and standard deviation 6.17. Press OK and we should obtain the probability. Also, we can go to variable view and increase the decimal point accordingly. As we can see here. Let's try for the second example, and this time we have more than cumulative. We have to bear in mind that SPS always use less than cumulative. Go to transform, compute variable. If you want to keep the previously entered variable, we have should use another new target variable, for example, P1. Type and labor, we can change to more than cumulative. Click on continue. For more than cumulative, simply 1 minus less than cumulative. Press OK and we should obtain the correct probability as we can see here. Also, go to variable view and increase the decimal point accordingly. Next, try for a range from 155.12 to 175.13. Since it's less than cumulative, so we should take a larger region minus a smaller region. So big minus small. Transform, compute variable. 
Now we should change the target variable again since we want to keep the previously entered variables. Type and label. Type the complete expression. We have 155.12 to 175.13. Continue. Big minus small. So we should start from a bigger number. 175.13 and we minus CDF again normal distribution again up change to the smaller number 155.12 and there mean 160 standard deviation 6.17 click on OK and we should obtain the probability also variable view to increase the decimal point. Besides, we could also obtain the inverse of the normal distribution. Go to transform, compute variable. Let's try for this example. Last and cumulative, we have probability of 0 0.15. For the target variable, we can make use of K1. Type and labor. For the labor, we can make use of the complete expression probability of x less than k which is equal to 0 0.15 continue delete the expression that we previously used look for inverse tf and what we need is the normal distribution up first question mark is the probability which is 0 0.15 again bear in mind that this must be less than cumulative since we are looking for less than cumulative so we don't have to change anything here and now we should have the mean 160 and the standard deviation 6.17 press on ok and we should obtain the value as we can see here also go to our equal view if we wish to increase the decimal point the last example more than cumulative again then my that sps uses less than cumulative if we have more than cumulative we just have to apply logic if more than we have 0 0.15 which means at last time we have 0 0.85 make use of this idea go back to transform compute variable change the target variable to k2 type and label we can change to more than Continue and we should change the probability to 0 0.85 since must be less than cumulative. Press on OK and we should obtain the correct value as we can see here. Also, we can increase the decimal point if we want. Besides, we could also visualize the probability distribution by using a bar chart. Go to graphs, look for legacy dialogs, bar, simple, define. Move X to the category axis. Previously, we defined the bars by using weight cases method. And this time, we can make use of probability and we use other statistics. For example, mean. Insert the probability under the variable and we should change the statistics. Change it to sum of values. Click on continue. Click on titles if you want to insert title. Click on continue and click on OK. And we should obtain a beautiful normal distribution as we can see here. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.